morning guys welcome back to the now morning show and our next guests are from the faculty of medical sciences and they're here to tell us more about the about pursuing studies in that field i'd like to welcome marcia ivy deputy dean of public health and primary care unit department of paraclinical sciences facility faculty sorry of medical science at the ue uh, st augustine and dr kenneth charles deputy dean graduate studies and research faculty of medical science at the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine. Welcome. Good morning. Thank Good you. Good morning. Uh, many people morning, think of you. studying medicine at university as that one program known as the MBBS, the highly competitive Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery five-year program. But there are many other degree programs at the university, at the undergraduate level, at the faculty. Can you tell us about the other programs? Of course. Good morning again. Thank you. Uh, just a clarification, I'm the Associate Dean for Public Relations. So, of course, um, UWI at the and the Faculty of Medical Sciences is where tomorrow's game changers begin their journey. We have five schools and six programs. We have the School of Medicine, the School of Dentistry, the School of Veterinary Medicine, the School of Nursing, and the School of Pharmacy. For the School of Medicine, there are two programs, the Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery, which is a five-year program. Right. And we also have the Bachelor of Optometry, which is a four-year program. For dentistry, the Doctor of Dental Surgery, which is a five-year program. And for veterinary medicine, the Doctor of Veterinary Medicine. In nursing, we have the Bachelor of Science degree in nursing, a four-year program. And for pharmacy, the Bachelor of Science degree in pharmacy also a four-year program. So five schools, six programs, and we're producing graduates who will innovate regionally and impact globally. Okay. Um, I understand that you have some a virtual open day coming up. Dr. Charles, can you hear me? I'm sorry, could you please I'm not hearing properly. I was saying that I understand you have a, a, a virtual open day coming up at the Faculty of Medical Sciences. Yes, we have a virtual open day coming up. Well, when is, the, when is the faculty open day and how can interested persons attend? So the faculty virtual open day will be this Thursday, July the 2nd. We start at 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Prospective students will have an opportunity to hear from the Dean of the Faculty of Medical Sciences, Professor Terence Simongol, as well as the directors of the schools and some of the heads of departments. So they'll get their questions answered. And registration is open, so they can go to the UWI website um, at sta.uwi.edu forward slash virtual open day. They can also register by jumping onto our Facebook, our Facebook page um, facebook.com forward slash uwi.fms or on our Twitter handle at FMS UWI SDA. All of those sections they can jump on, they will see the links. It is pinned at the top of our Facebook page and our Twitter page, so it's easily accessed. Fantastic. Dr. Charles, can you tell me, in light of the, the COVID 19 pandemic that swept the world and is still sweeping the world, um, I know that the, the school system would have been affected by it. Uh, how do people wanting to be a part or wanting to get into the university, how is that being, is that being facilitated in any way with regards to, you know, have you all made any changes to the admission requirements? The admission requirements essentially remain the same. We are open to business. Uh, we have, in terms of how we deliver our programs, of course, we, we ourselves have to be innovative. We have to be flexible. We have to make changes. So we are moving the way of having more online delivery of our, or of our program. So yes, we're open. We haven't seen an, um, an ebb in the interest in registering. So fully open. All right, fantastic. I understand that there are some novel career prospects for graduates in medical sciences now. So, so once you have a degree from one of the schools in our medical, um, in, in the Faculty of Medical Sciences, there are a lot of opportunities open to prospective students, to graduates. For example, research. You can have career scientists. It's a path that graduates can take. 
we have seen the importance of research as it relates to this era of COVID-19 and the global pandemic. So our interventions have been guided by research. So we're really depending on um, students to take an interest in research and move along that path. There's also leadership, business, politics, or graduates with a degree can become leaders and managers of healthcare organizations, hospital systems, medical schools, insurance companies. A great example for, um, is the Honorable Terence Dial Singh. He has a degree in pharmacy and he is a minister of health, right? So we have, there are many different parts. You can have public health specialists, urban planners. We think about our built environment, roadways, how we look at green spaces. All of those are impacted by health. Epidemiologists, the, epi the epidemic has been guided by how epidemiologists um, give, do their research and produce information that gives us a way in which we will do our interventions and our preventions. So we can have pharmaceutical epidemiologists, infection control epidemiologists, we have medical informatics, health advocacy, even journalism. We have, if you have a degree in medical sciences, you can go into health journalism. Fantastic. So there are many options. I, I wanna I wanna reach across to Dr. Charles now. Dr. Charles, can you hear me? I can, yes, thank you. Fantastic. I was just wondering in terms of the application so far, do you know if they have been an they have been an increase or a decrease compared to previous years at this time of the year? The process has changed. I don't get the impression that there's a decrease, but the whole mechanism for doing it has changed and the operations of the campus, the administrative aspects of it have been Im impacted by uh, the whole outbreak. I don't have the data as yet, right. but I did not get the impression that there was any decrease. And in terms of the of the actual running of the of the classes and the, the processes for applying, well, more than just the applying, I, I I'm curious as to what's, and... what's going to happen going forward in terms of um the way that school is going to operate. Is it going to be uh how how is this this new normal going to affect classes and the way that the classes are operated? What has happened with the uh, pandemic is many of the university's operations have been switched to online. So a lot of the processes and the, the uh, things that would usually be, be done on the wards and involve patient contact, for example, are now being done online uh, in keeping with the ministry's uh, uh, provisions for social distancing and so on. So the processes have changed, yes. Okay, fantastic. Well, but they are continuing. All right. Well, one more time, Miss Ivy, if you don't mind, can you let can you remind persons how they can apply to be a part of the the virtual open day, so they can get more information and see uh, what they're in store for, and be a part of the application process as well. Okay. So we are online. They can jump on the UWI website, sta.uwi.edu forward slash virtual open day. You can also go to our Facebook page and our Twitter page. Our handles are facebook.com forward slash UWIF.FMS. And we're also on Twitter at FMSUWISTA. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Marsha Ivy, Deputy Dean, Public Health and Primary Care Unit at the Department of Paraclinical Scientists, Fac Sciences Faculty of Medical Science at the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine as well as Dr. Kenneth Charles, Deputy Dean of Graduate Studies, Research and at the Faculty of Medical Sciences at the University of the West Indies. And we'll take a quick break and come back with so much more in our morning show. Keep it locked.